Hola, so I am in the house and I'm about to head out for my first ever okay well technically it's not the first ever i've done another one but for my first commissioned job like i'm technically going for a gig so um my my niece <laughs> um wants um a privacy thingy for her balcony so that is what we will be working on today and of course i'm going to show you what it looks like before and what i am going to do with it which is going to be the after i just realized i should carry my sunscreen so yeah i look ratchet i have this nini on my hair so the first thing i want to do is i want to go buy wood the idea is now to go get let me just show you so i want to go it might get a bit dark um, so I'm going to get the wood and then I've already packed up like my stuff uh, let's see so this is the stuff I'm carrying with me which reminds me I was actually looking for my hammer which I should just I should find so let's go back into good lighting into some lighting <laughs> yay so <laughs> So that's what we'll be doing today and this is like um i know a couple of people have asked me if i've ever considered doing someone else's house which yes i have i have helped some of my friends i've helped some people work out some stuff or figure out what they wanted to do with their spaces but now i want to turn that into another series for this particular channel so this is i, I still don't have a name for it but i know by the time this video is going up i have a name so it's a new series and this is the premiere episode this is the first episode i'm excited i've been excited for this project for a while because um initially we had a different idea but then it didn't pan out so we came up with another idea so we want to do that today and then see how that goes so fingers crossed that everything's gonna be great thank you thank you thank you for crossing your fingers for me so yeah this has been a long ass introduction so let's just get into it let's go and do somebody's house okay. yesterday i talked about how um i was going to go get wood and stuff and material to go make my my niece's balcony screen but then um when i went to run errands because i also had to buy stuff it became too sunny it was too hot and i had this constant headache that wasn't going away so what i uh after we spoke over the phone she was like oh she'd already like lay down because she wanted to have astro tough that fake grass thingy and the balcony as well so the tough grass she'd already she'd already gotten that installed <laughs> sorry i thought i had something <laughs> She'd gotten that installed and now what I did, I told her that I'll just get the stuff, come back with it, um, chop it up here because initially I was going to just carry a lot of my equipment. Yesterday when we came back, we came back to the house, it was like, it was almost five and we hadn't even eaten. So we came back, ate, so we is my brother and I. Nathaniel, come say hi, come. So we went, we got the stuff, we came back to the house. It was pretty late, so I didn't get around to chopping stuff up and fixing it up. This is my bro. This is my father. This is, this is my little helper. Because Clover has decided that this life is not for him. So anyway, so we came back with the stuff. Now, I want to quickly chop it up quickly because i don't know how long it's gonna take me to do the fast screen and then just assemble it and stuff and see depending on the time because today i also had an engagement uh but then we had some fundis who were coming to fix some of the doors we were having a problem with then they all like all the fundis who were supposed to come today came they were supposed to come from like jana we've been uh, there was they've been they've been meant to be here this stuff was meant to have been fixed but then suddenly the one day that i have plans that one day that i have a lot of stuff to do is when they show up so i knew if i didn't let them finish it was going to be like another 
probably two weeks of waiting but also this was like the last chance they had to fix stuff so i was like you know what i'd rather just have them do it when i'm here so i was late for my first engagement which i was supposed to do from 11 my plan was to do it 11 to 12 then come back do the stuff in at two i was supposed to have gone to brenda's but then it's now 2 45 and i just got back home and um I have to now chop the stuff up, assemble it and, stays, and see if we can do it. But I don't think we'll be able to do today. So I'm thinking I'll do all the assembly today here. And then tomorrow I go do installation at her place. Because on Saturday I have a second client. You know, family is amazing. Because my second client is my sister. Oh... If your family is not supporting what you're doing, are they even your family? Ask yourself. Next week's episode of whatever we have decided to call this series. Okay, cool. Now let me show you how we're doing this. And also, this is the sad part. I forgot. I really love corn puffs. And so does this guy. Watch this. Come. <laughs> so I don't even know what I was gonna say hola so I am uh, I'm on the balcony and I'm using this um, quarter inch plywood that's what I'm going to that's what I'm going to use to make the <sighs> there's a word for it but the idea is to, I'm making a screen and I didn't want to use a, a 3mm plywood because that's a bit heavy and also it's a lot more expensive but still at the end of the day this will work because it's just a screen it's not about, it doesn't have to be heavy I use something a bit heavier on the edges but then on the inside I want to use um, plywood so for the bits that I'm cutting I want to do one inch so I have, I have my tape measure so I want to cut this into strips of one inch and the measurements I'm working with because so if you do decide to do such a project please note that the sizes will vary depending on the place you are planning to cover so I'm covering my size is I have my cat my size my screen size is 3.1 meters by 1.1 meters so it's like I put it in centimeters to make it as accurate as possible so it's 315 centimeters by 110 in terms of height so it's this this way the width is 315 and the height is 110 so I have to make sure that these panels I have some that are long enough to be 100 and sensor they can go up this way but the thing is the way i'm going to chop them up i'm going to have some short ones and some really long ones and my phone's ringing Okay, hey, so I have a problem. 
none of the saws that I have work because even the electric one the um, the teeth are too wide like I need a saw that has like such tiny teeth or like just like this one but then like if I had this kind of teeth come on focus this kind of tiny teeth but on um on this on the electric saw it would be a hell lot easier and faster but even by hand it would be faster but my problem is all my saws have this so what i need is that normal generic hacksaw that doesn't have this top part and i don't own one so now i'm like okay what now question is what to do what can i do <sighs> so this was me trying to use when i tried to use the what's it called i tried to use the machine that i have and this is how it worked and i tried to use a hand saw it looked okay but it wasn't straight it wasn't neat this is what was happening so that sucks I'm about to start chopping up wood and stuff and the size that I'm working with the balcony is the width is 315 centimeters I measured it in centimeters because one I wanted to be very precise because with inches it's very easy well like an inch off will mess up everything but with a centimeter off or two wouldn't affect as much so I measured in centimeters so this one is specifically 315 centimeters and the height is 110 so 110 is she wanted it to be um larger longer higher <laughs> than the height of her balcony um so yes yeah, so we are doing 315 by 110 so what i want to do first is create a frame that's going to be where all the pieces are going to like i don't know how to explain this but i'm going to create a frame and then after i create the frame i'm going to now start adding the pieces of wood in between the frames like inside of the frame that way the frame itself stays the size does that make sense yes okay so i'm measuring and i'm realizing that 110 is in that tall i get it like because her kid is very is very young so he's not that tall and they still want light to come in i'm thinking of making it a, a bit taller because our balcony's height is 100 100 centimeters so i'm thinking if i do like 130 that allowance of 20 centimeters might be pretty helpful i don't know let's see yeah i think i'll do 120. i'll do 120. so there's something that i i haven't addressed <laughs> I have a problem the problem is I'll need my drill I don't have it because it's at my sister's place then at the same time I have two drills and they're both there I'm like why didn't I just go with one because I left them there because there's a project that I'm doing there that is incomplete so I was like just leave them here then come do it finish then you know so that's one problem The other problem is I also don't have my hand saw, the one for kataka tying bow. So I'm just gonna use my uh, this saw and hope for the best. I hope it's not gonna dent or uh, make stuff not work. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So 
reached over. Today is a Masai Ibu day, so here comes another problem. The my five meter tape measure thing is at my sister's. The one I have is two meters long, and I need this to be three point one five. <laughs> so let's just measure. Another problem, this piece, the pieces that I have, are only 244 centimeters long. 244 centimeters, they're not, and I need 315. So, I'm thinking, how about I split the 315 into two? That way, instead of doing one large screen, I do two smaller screens and then attach wall to wall and then they meet in the middle. Let's go with that then. So that's 105, 107. That means I'll need more of the 115, 130 pieces, but it's okay. So the battery died and I had to go change it. Let's get closer. So I've chopped up the frames, but now I have another problem. That's filming outside for you. The other problem I have now is I don't have a hammer. And I was like, wait, how is it that I only have one hammer? Given the amount of work I do, I need more than one because my hammer is at my sister's. Okay, so now the frames are ready. Now that the frames are ready, it's time to now lay down or lay on top of them the crisscrossing pieces. So what I'm gonna do is a clover. What I want to do is to lay out some pieces for one and then cut them, then just sort of do the same for the other. What? What? So, half of it is done, so that's technically now a half, but not half of both because this still needs work. So, side A done, now we have to do side B, and then you do track number two, side A and B.
Yo, so I have literally spent an entire afternoon and I've only made one <laughs> and a frame and I think um, the bulk of the work is in the measuring and doing because if there was a way where if it was a way where like all the pieces are like the same size and then you just cut all of them and then place them because now like my plan is to do my best to follow this I want to chop up now the ones for that one my brother has been I don't know if you can see him in the corner he's been telling me stories while I work so thank you Nathaniel yeah <laughs> and he's in his pajamas just like me so ah yeah let's do now part two of side a and side b So this is what's going into the wall. This is where the wall plug is. And then this will go in. This will hold on to this piece. And then down here, once I've left so much space, is where this is gonna get nailed into. Like this piece is, will get nailed into this. So I just finished installing this <laughs> and this is the first for the first ever 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 episode of Here Comes Muthani. So Muthani came through and fixed up a balcony screen. So this is like a privacy screen so they have a little child so the child can't you know like fall through the cracks and stuff. I'm really excited about how it turned out. The beauty of fish line is you can hardly see it unless you're really up close. Look. Oh, I'm really happy about how this turned out. It was. It ate my head. It like you draw. It ate my head. But. Here we are, so I used some fishing line to tie like these two bits together at the bottom, these two bits, this side and that side, so at the bottom, um, somewhere in the middle, at the top, which is being held by this grill over here, and I feel like this wood feel looks very cool because it matches their doll, which I'm like next to, and also like there's green grass, and okay, there's this tough grass then there's this it's like it has this earthy feeling and it doesn't contrast too much with the with this bits on the inside so Mukami is proud of herself and she's gonna put herself on the back yay oh my god yay yay I'm so happy I'm excited <laughs> 